Hello, my name is Madeline and welcome to my van tour. My van is a 2004 all-wheel drive Chevy Astro. My van was already built out when I bought it, so I'll insert photos of what it looked like. And then with my creative vision, my boyfriend made some changes. So he changed the layout, added a bookshelf, added a diesel heater and some other stuff. But yeah, I'll show you guys the photos of before so you can kind of compare what it looks like when I bought it and what it looks like now. Okay, so we're having audio issues as usual because I can never figure out my audio. So here I'm just showing you that I store a couple jackets on the back of the passenger seat. I just store the ones that I'm wearing constantly. And then underneath the passenger seat is where my shoes go. Um, that's just my little shoe storage. I just shove them right under there. And then on the other side, I just have a couple things hung up. I have my fire extinguisher and then my smoke alarm at the top as well. Next to my passenger seat is my fridge. It is a winter 12 volt fridge, but um, currently my fridge is not working. It literally says off right here because I just turned it off. Behind the driver's seat, um, it's a little, boy. Behind the driver's seat is just a miscellaneous item. Um, right behind it, I have more stuff stored down there. My van has two modes. It has drive mode and it has live mode. So right now it's in live mode. When it's in live mode, I store things behind the seat. When it's in drive mode, I put my seven gallon portable water tank behind it. But when I'm parked, I just take that water tank out and put it outside because it allows much more storage. So at the moment, what's behind the seat in live mode, I have my camera case, my portable stove top, it's just a Coleman portable stove top that uses butane. I have some Cheerios. And then I also have my trash can and my little handheld vacuum. I also have these curtains to block everyone out and this right here is just bleach stains right here is my little kitchen area um, so it's just a normal stainless steel sink my one complaint about it is that it is not deep enough for me personally or big enough it does its job so i'll take what i can get this is my wee boost antenna the inside one and my faucet and my faucet just comes out do, 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 do. and you come down here and i put on these cute little handles under my sink i have my two water jugs i think they're either six or seven gallon i can't remember but this one is gray water and this one is fresh water and i have my little water pump set up so and i also have a pot and some cups just a little bit extra storage. In this corner of my kitchen area, I have my spice rack and my boyfriend's grandpa built this like a long time ago and it's freed up so much space. My spices were taking up way too much space and now they have a home, which I love. Also up here, I have my Polaroid. So when I'm driving, my Polaroid camera gets tucked away, but in live mode, it can live right there. And then right here, I just have whatever food I happen to be eating right now. There's pretzels. And this countertop, um, it came with the van and it's a live edge countertop. So it's just like a raw wood edge. Yeah, I really love this countertop. I wanted a live edge countertop like in my build when I envisioned building one. Um, so I'm really happy that this is here. Right here is food storage when and other storage when I have food. I don't have a lot of food right now, but yeah, so this just kind of has trash bags and like random stuff. And then this one has just some Tupperware, random food. Oh, and also my Wee Boost box thing is back here. So it's just mounted back there. At the bottom, I have some cleaning supplies. I mean, Dr. Bronner's can be used for a bunch of things, but it's with the cleaning supplies. Pull this out. I have dishes in here. And then, if you pull this out, more kitchen stuff. So it just has utensils and cooking and all that jet. So this is where I sleep. I sleep horizontally. I am 5'7", and I can fit with my feet flat, but I can't fit with my feet like pointed out, like stretched all the way out. So I usually lay diagonal and then I can fit like all the way stretched out. Athena takes up like half the bed now though, so it gets pretty cramped in here. I do that one hack that I'm sure you've all seen where you put jackets in your pillowcase. Yeah. This is lumpy, it has jackets in it and it saves me a lot of room. I have a little Max Air fan up there and it's just a small one. But my van is really small, so it's perfect for what I need. I still get really good air ventilation. Even with my doors closed, um, I just crack the windows and then the air circulates. But yeah, the really small one, um, it only has, just has one mode, <laughs> but it is a good option if you want something cheaper than a regular 
Max Airfan. Voice over me again. I'm just showing you guys how I store stuff underneath my bed. I just have these little plastic storage bins that I put all my clothes in. They're not pretty. I just cover them with my blanket and nobody has to look at them. Next is my bookshelf. On the top shelf, I have all my film cameras. Well, not all of them. Okay, a lot of them are back home with my boyfriend, um, but I I brought my favorites, I guess you could say. The second shelf has all my books. So on the bottom shelf, I have kind of like a junk bin where just like, I just put things where I don't know where to put them and that's where it goes. So uh, we don't look at her, we cover her with my journal. Okay, so we don't look at it. Then on the very bottom, of my bookshelf. I have the control panel for my diesel heater. I have a switch panel, but it only has one thing hooked up to it right now, which is my water pump. And back here, I have my Dutch doors. So the hatch opens, and then these two doors open. This is my fuel tank. I used to have a small one, but I ran through it really fast. So I got this big one now. This is the one that came with the diesel heater. It lasts so much longer now, I love it. And this is my Goal Zero Yeti 1500X power station and it powers my whole van. It's in this really weird inconvenient spot because it was already here when I got the van and it can't really be moved around because it's like hardwired into everything. Then I just have a storage spot for tools and my diesel heater is right here. On the top of my van is a wooden rack, two 100 watt Renogy solar panels, which is 200 watts total. My WeBoost antenna is up there. Also a new addition is my awning, which my boyfriend got me for Christmas. That was my van tour. It's small but mighty. It definitely has problems and there's a lot of things that I want, but there's also a lot of things that I already have. So I'm super grateful for what I do have. I probably forgot some stuff, but uh, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Definitely respond to any questions you have. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!